Welcome back, my friends, to Need for Speed Heat. Joining us straight back in to the action of the last episode. It all went a little bit crazy. If you do not remember, the police were not letting us begin this event. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. They don't let us begin this event until quite a little bit later. But we're driving the beautiful 1ACSX. So I wanted to uh, apologize straight away for the audio level so far. I'm hopefully have fixed it this episode but without further ado we're back now this actually in fact is going to be the last episode that is filmed in this way we're going to be filming the game properly hopefully super super soon so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to not miss out you don't want to miss out that's probably the better english try anyway so let's get away from this copper get away we shall try there's actually these really cool areas up in here that's how we're going to get away. The police are going to fall off. Like I almost did. I'm going to pretend I didn't almost fall off there. We're escaping them. They don't know where I went, but I'm, they're right behind me. You are crazy. Really bad. You are bad police. Heat level one police. Not the not the greatest. Not the greatest in the slightest. But they, they that's how they should be, right? You don't wanna, if you don't want a police chase, you want to get away. Heat level one police is how it should be. But it is still... So much better than it was in 2015. Anyway, so we come back to the event and we're going to try and start this again. Uh, and I actually remember that it didn't really let me. Probably because someone went else, someone else just started it, maybe. That's something with all drive. Or maybe it was just a bug. But in this, we again get in the police chase. Thank you, <laughs> Ghost Games. I just want to get on with the event and progress. My big wangs. One eight, I wonder if he wanted to say 240. A big one, 180, is screaming for an event to begin. And it's also fluttering. Quite a lot of fluttering. Quite a lot. It sounds so good, though. Anyway, we lost the police quite easy. That, that was a Mustang. I think it sounded V80, no matter what it was. So we do a quick scurs go around, and we're going to attempt to go back and get this event started. So this shows you how the police, this most of this episode, how are they initially going to play with us and tease us and attack us and bite us in the face. And I can't, I'm very excited to jump back in at some point very, 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 very soon and keep progressing through the story and the like. And again, this this was doing so. Uh, he seemed to be oblivious to the fact we just passed him at 100 plus miles an hour. Him as well, he seems pretty focused on something. Jump back to attempt the event again. Let's give this a... Why does this happen to me? Why don't you leave me alone? I just... I, uh, let me go. Let me finish the event. My damage is low. We repaired. We're carrying back. We escaped the police once more. We're going to attempt once more to begin this event which actually is a different event this might be a different event either way we need to begin an event and so i was creeping i, I decided yes this is probably the best thing to do isn't it creep along creep, oh, oh. don't hear that tree there but it kind of sets the atmosphere the mood a little bit i have to sneak around and make sure that they're chasing other people but yes we start the event and we begin a nighttime race now for those of you that don't know, see monster. Uh, this is obviously giving you reputation. Reputation is what we're after in the nighttime. You don't lose everything if you mess up, but you lose a significant amount. So, especially for the fact that we are continuously in police chases. We're almost level two heat, which means we're going to get that cool multiplier. The times two multiplier that's going to give us a double boost. But the way he is. Chewing away with the turbo spinny boys. Here we go. Full speed, baby. Got the banging tunes. Where's that bass drop? Where's the drop? There it is. I'm not, I'm not down with the kids with the new music. I feel very behind. This is... This is not... <laughs> this is not generally my type of stuff. But I do like myself some drum bass and dubstep in this game. It fits it really, really well. It fits Miami really well. We've got some Rick Ross and Skrillex in here. It works really well with the game. I'm very, very happy with the music playlist. And of course, the main reason I'm having to have the music a little bit quiet maybe still is because the music is playing. But that's a good question. Would you like me to keep playing the music in the Let's Play episodes? 
That's my idea. I think we should have music in the Let's Play episodes because it makes part of it, part of the whole thing, and then no music when it comes to the builds and stuff. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a good idea. I don't know about you, but working it out. Now this event, this reminded me, again, I put on the stability control stuff, which I definitely wouldn't recommend doing. Since doing my break versus drift video, break versus drift, grip versus drift video, you may have seen, we did figure out a better way. It was like slowly get on the throttle. Just don't put that on. It ruins everything. Absolutely everything. It might actually be better if you use it on a grip car when they do slide and you don't want them to. That might be something interesting to figure out because grip cars tend to turn more, which is very, very cool indeed. Now imagine drift cars get to turn more later on when you upgrade them. Interesting. I didn't think about that. Anyway. This time you already got... Man. Watch your language. I'm just trying to win an event. I'm getting away from our reinforcements. Yeah, I know that. It's okay. We're escaping again. We're escaping. Bit of boost. Cross the line. We escape the police. That's always what you want to see. Escaping the police before the event ends. That's what you need. So I got 1600 rep for completing that. And the multiplier has now, the heat level has gone to two, which means we get a two times multiplier. And at the top of the screen, it actually tells you what level heat you can get if you bank right now. If we bank right now, I think. No, is it the next level? Either way, it tells you, it gives you an idea of where you are in that night. And if you bank, that's what you're going to get. And there was a cop over there. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to hide down this hill. I don't mind, don't mind me. I d my intent was not to try and stay out as long as I can. But at the same time, it kind of was. There's something about the intensity at night. And you just kind of want to stay out. You want to stay out as long as you can. I, I literally said to a ghost in play, he was like, you might want to be careful as you get to get to a bit higher heat levels. And I was like, come on! It's Pants Magee! It's me! I know what I'm doing. Rivals Cops were easy. This is going to be easier. Rivals was crazy. This can't be harder than Rivals! At least that's what I initially said. Ambulance. People were speculating with the ambulances. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of crashes and game endings in this game. It would be cool if they, they actually turn their sirens on. You know when you're driving along and there's like a police car next to you or an ambulance or something or whatever. And they only, as, only as they come past you do they seem to put their sirens on and deafen you. And I've also realized that most games use a more European siren effect. The, 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 oh, there's a cop around there as well, so I'm going to sneak around a little bit. We're going we're to sneak. I'm going to be doing quite a little bit of sneaking. Also, accidentally changing. We're going to go around. US fire trucks, especially, sound like they're crying animals, like yell, yelling. I don't know. At the end. At the end of their lives. It's kind of sad sounding. It's like you feel sorry for them. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I will move. You You sound like a wailing horse. Has anyone noticed that? Is it just me? I don't know. These are the type of discussions you can expect to hear basically all of the time throughout my series on this game. There's going to be so much stuff. Normally with, with games, I don't 100% games. But you have no idea how tempted I am to get every single car in this game at the very least. But anyway, we're back to McQueen event. This is where it began. This is where we wanted to get it done the first time. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be wanting to let me at the moment. So we'll uh, drive away a little second and uh, drive in the water. Why do I do this to myself? So anyway, there was police about to fly past and come past. As you can see, there's a cop right there. So I'm just going to sit in the grass again. You can't see me over the bush. You can't see me over the bush. What? <laughs> this is an issue. Okay. This is not what I want. <laughs> Realistically, I should have run away. This is what happens when you stay out for too long. There should be like a temporary... Pay and spray, like GTA, where you go in and it sprays the car, and they're like, who is that? I don't know who that person is. They completely forget who you are, but you keep you keep it going. You keep that multiplier. You kind of bank it as it is. You lock that down, and then, you know, you can go back and change the paint 
When you go back to the garage, maybe it changes back. It re-sprays it back. Oh, no. It was a temporary wrap. They wrapped your car, and then they pull it off. That would be awesome. That would be fantastic. Maybe underneath, when we wrap cars, we don't actually paint them. We wrap them. <laughs> and then we rip, rip off the wrap. Lickety split. Clean, baby. Yes. But I'm interested to find out how this is going to be. Is this, is this going to be an issue that I'm going to have throughout the whole series? We'll have to see. But right now, I feel like I'm in a very slow car. And that's my main disadvantage. And right now, I'm not supposed to be staying out this long. They don't expect me to. In fact, as I said, the ghost developer was like, stop. You're going to fail. You're going to crash and burn. That's what he said. He didn't say that. But you can't get no extra help. I was confident, I still am confident, that I can smash these cops at heat level 5 in my stock car with NOS. I said I did a few more upgrades, but you know what I mean, it's borderline useless parts. This car is weak. This cop is trying to get me. He is stopping my like crazy. Please leave me alone. Oh! Pull away, pull away, cheeky little skid there. Even with our stuff on this guy here, I can't remember who that was actually. <laughs> Stop with that blooming horn! Okay? Stop with that horn. Here's the event. We're gonna have to pass again. Wait, the cop crashed! We can come back to I'm this, out. okay? My car can't take any more punishment. I just wanna smash through all the events, man. That's all I need in my life. Do a cheeky repair. And uh, but one repair left. Tell you, that's that's one of the one of the special things you get, you can actually get extra repairs in, the, in throughout the night, which generally you don't have a repair, I don't think. So you have to purchase those. Time to apply some pressure. Mate, you've already applied pressure. You're not letting me do a street race. I just want to do some illegal stuff. You know, that's all I'm asking. Whoa! Make this to go out at night. I already am! <laughs> The music, the cop chase music, music is awesome. He almost collided with that car right there. That van, that truck, that big one. But it's all right. We're pulling away again. Something went wrong. Something, someone spun out. Someone made a huge oopsie. We're pulling in the very low level. 180SX. Hit a few lampposts. They don't, they don't know where I am. Do a quick... Uh... Yes, I am. Did you not expect it? Because I kind of expected it. Shit, they managed to slip out of view. Yes, oh, and we escape. No it's okay. Right, to the map. We should probably now, again, once more, try and get to this one event. This is the most infamous event ever. This is going to be known as the, the hardest event I've ever done in my life. Cool shot, by the way. But <laughs> oh, there's a cop right there. Oh! Pull away, pull away, pull away. See, this is why you need a pants sticker on your car. The cops would respect you a little bit more if you had a pants sticker on your car. Yeah, that's right. They won't chase you. Are you actually chasing them? All that work to nail this driver just so we can call off the chase? Yeah. Bullshit. That's right. Call off that chase. We got stuff to do. We're almost heat level three already. There's cops everywhere. But it's so good you can actually avoid them quite easily. Anywho. So, as I say, this episode is going to be a little bit different to the others. Obviously, in the last two, we really had story progression. This one, I mostly am just doing the free roaming stuff. I'm doing the races because I wanted so bad to try and get to a high level very quickly. You can already see I'm already going to get up to level 8 on the, the level, which is just crazy. Like, if I could have... If I could... <laughs> bank this... I could get up eight levels. And just so you know, there's 50 levels in this game. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hope they increase that cap because it looks like the Pantomime G might get it in one night. I might actually do that. It's one of my challenge videos when we the Forza video we did recently. We might actually have to attempt to try and get level 50 in one night. So that's possible. Well, there is actually no cap on the cars or anything. We're going to hide around this corner while there's someone is doing that exact same event. You can tell. We're just going to sit behind a little bit. But yes, it is possible to go through the whole game and unlock most stuff without doing any story except the introduction. So you can unlock all the, par the parts and the visuals and everything. You don't have to do stuff. That's a bit of K-Dot. Damn, I wasn't expecting no K-Dot. Here we go. Let's get this event. McQueen. 
Lightning McQueen returns. You know full well. Loads, loads of Lightning McQueen cars are going to be in this game. We know that's going to be a thing. Lightning McQueen, we can't escape Lightning McQueen in Need for Speed recently because you you can paint the front window, obviously. And that's something that a lot of people like to do. It is very cool because I get to put my sticker on the window. Which I would personally put stickers on the window more so like on my car than stickers on the window. But I don't have them on the actual paint. Because it feels wrong. Here we go. Bit of a slippery start. Everybody else seems to be gripping better than me. But this 180 has some power under its belt. Oh yes, first place already. And we're at a disadvantage with the handling settings we've got on. You see, people disrespect me. But I'm actually pretty deep. See how I got away from that, that collision there? Don't enable stability traction control. Don't do it. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. We've got police on us. I do like the fact that they show you the border around the racetrack, though. It's super useful. I'm one of those people that ends up flying off the course sometimes if I'm not concentrating properly. Whoa! Excuse me! What do you think you're doing? Unacceptable. That is evil. Pure evil. This car has been through absolutely everything. You've thrown everything at it already. Can you just let me finish one, one singular event? I wish there was like unlimited ranks in this game. 9,999 is back level. Your chariot. You really are full of yourself, aren't you, huh, buddy? <laughs> yes. Anyway. I guess that leads us on to the final question. I know there's been a lot of questions and a lot of like, what do you prefer? <laughs> what would you like to see in terms of the Let's Play stuff? Would you like to see more uncut stuff like hey, this? Would you like me to... Yeah, so we're just gonna sneakily go for this while in the middle of the race. Yes, we're gonna drop behind, but we can smash through this 180. That's possible to do. This shows that this game is properly open. I just repaired out of route on a shop, but... Would you want to see more uncut stuff like this? Is it look been less cutting than I normally do? Or would you want to see the, the the more to the point stuff? You want to see a few bits of the races, a few bits, uh, quite a lot of the upgrading, and quite a bit and everything, should I say, of the cutscene. I feel like I'm going to do the Let's Play for the most part. But I'm going to show you a whole lot of stuff in this game. I'm going to show you absolutely everything. I'm going to tell you how to get everything, okay? This is the final lap. I like that it actually shows you that properly now. Very clean, very nice, cool HUD design, very cool. There's cops everywhere. The thing is, probably with the circuit races, I get I think a point to point or a sprint, shall I say, would be better. They're really going for me, aren't they? This is unfair! No! <laughs> no! What? Those cops can be pretty rough. Don't take it personal. So I lost on the bank. The multiplier goes down and I only get 5,000 rep gear. I cannot believe that they managed to bust me like that. That is so unfair. How? Let's not even get into it. I would genuinely cry. And you return back to the garage. And we unlocked. We still leveled up, so we unlocked. We focus RS. Just in case you wanted to. And we got some new parts. I want everything. Anyway. This concludes... All the footage I have pre-recorded, kind of, exactly. I've got some builds still. Don't worry, don't worry. Still got builds and stuff. But this is in terms of the Let's Play, what we've got. Uh, I've not got any more Let's Play stuff pre-recorded. All from now will be stuff from the final build of the game. I'm very excited about Heat. Thank you so much for joining us for this so far. Thank you so much for the support. It's been absolutely mental so far. And again, we're not even getting started yet. Hopefully you saw the new trailer that dropped today. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was good fun to see how many combinations. For those of you who don't know, they made the trailer and they made it so that it shows different cars. People can submit their, their cars from the app, Heat Studio, and have a render trailer of their car in the trailer. It was fantastic. Their channel's uploaded over 100,000 trailers so far. It's ridiculous. Search up NFS Heat Studio on YouTube and go to the channels section and all list it and you'll see how many combinations of them there are. But as I was saying, I am very, very excited 
to get jumping back into this. Um, I'm probably going to set up the car exactly as it is. It's going to look exactly the same. There's going to be a perfect transition. You're going to see the perfect position as to where I was originally before I got the game. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to be like, wow, did he actually, did he have it the whole time? Maybe he did. This is crowned in front of me, by the way, in the Evo. I'm not sure who BMW King was, but he wasn't driving a BMW, which makes me very suspicious. BMW King should at least be in a German. You wanted to race, huh? You went to race. Anyway, I'm, I'm just blabbering now. This is literally what happened after I I got busted from the police because we didn't have very long left, and I didn't want to. I honestly would. I wanted to save the story for when we did the Let's Play at home, but I knew full well everyone else was going to do it, so I kind of had to do it myself. Anyway, uh, this is one quick thing I wanted to show you. You can actually switch parts on the fly. So if you've got a drift car, you've got one car, and you can, you've got parts for drift and grip, you can actually switch it on the fly, which I think was so much better than the, the possible tuning menu they had last time. Anyway, I'm just babbling now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy this Let's Play Part 3. I will see you in Part 4, which will be super soon. And that's where it's going to begin. And we're going to have a million part episode Let's Play. Hopefully you enjoy. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.